Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daki and thank you so very much for coming and watching this video. And first, before we get this video started, I want to thank everyone for the support over the last couple of videos. And I, I do apologize that I'm not getting these videos out quick enough for you, but I am, I promise, working on that for you. But anyway, isn't this a marvelous site? We've got some machinery working. We've got some platforms now, which is good. And as you guys would have uh, seen, sorry, we've adjusted the color schemes. So basically, the orange is part of my branding with... Uh, with my uh, logo so I've kept the orange and in particular I've actually recolored this orange so this is the Daki orange that you would see everywhere and I kind of like the white and orange now, I did try the orange and white and it still works but for the moment I feel like we're gonna go with the white and orange and if you guys do like this let me know give me a thumbs up or tell me another color scheme that you guys might think might work the Sun is going down and as you would oh that is a beautiful that is a beautiful photo right there might even take a screenshot of that later. But there's so much to do on this video. There is actually quite a lot to get done. Look at the janky moon. Yep. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot to get done. And in this video, we've got a few things that we would like to tackle. So what I've done in, be in between a last video and this video is obviously, as you guys would see here, I've risen everything up onto platforms just to give it a bit more... Uh, structure, I guess, and I think these are all out of bio. Yeah, they're all out of biofuel. Um, just to give it a bit of structure and a bit of sort of like, uh, I don't know, uh, structure. And we're just making obviously the same things that we were. However, it's just a little bit more organized. And I put all the biofuel generators next to each row. This is going to run out of fuel here in a second as well. So we're currently making, as it stands, two rows of iron plates. We've got one row of the iron rods, and we've got our concrete limestone generator that's up here just doing and chugging along doing its thing. But you might be asking yourself, what are we doing this episode? Well, well let me run over here and I'll show you what I've started. And um, there's actually two things we would like to tackle today. Well, technically three, but two main things we would like to tackle today. And as you can see, I've started building a platform here for a little bit of storage, which we will... Oh, that's a beautiful photo there too. Any direction you look in this game is just a, just a stunning, stunning visual. So here's the two things that we're going to get done today. This row of, uh, I guess you could say, miner, smelter, and constructor that are just leading into some iron plates. This is going to be our awesome sink row. We're actually going to throw an awesome sink down on here, and we're going to set up a awesome shop over near our hub, which we're going to do very soon. Is that you? You making all that noise over there? Anyway, so we're going to set up an awesome sink here. As you guys know, when you place an awesome sink down, you can feed it material there. And the, the more costly are the material, I know that's sort of a word, the more expensive the material is to manufacture, the more tickets or the more points you get towards tickets. So we're going to start by just feeding it iron plates. And eventually, as this base grows, we're going to start feeding it things like reinforced plates and, and, and just bigger and better, more expensive things. And even still, we might even put some multiple awesome sinks down. But that's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to tackle today is that we want to run conveyor belts from the, the concrete generator up here, the rods and the iron rows that are here, and we want to run them up to a temporary storage over here. However, there's a bit of a catch. Between here and our storage, I wish to put down a uh, another constructor, uh, no, it's an assembler, sorry, um, to do, uh, what do you call it? Screws. However, we have not unlocked the actual assembler yet, which is sad. So, we're going to tackle... Um, Task number one, we're going to start setting up for task number two, and then we might even continue and get, in some, uh, get some of this objective done. So we're going to run over here. We want an awesome sink, and we want an awesome shop, and we almost have all the materials. So we just need a little bit more cable. We need a lot more screws, and we need some reinforced plates. So uh, I don't know if I've got all of that. I do not. Also, these, uh, these storage bins can pretty much go when we um when we get everything else set up let me just grab a few of that actually that's helped out a lot actually yep now we've just basically we've got everything so we're going to run back over here and we're going to construct an awesome sink and link everything up 
which means we probably don't need this storage container to be brutally honest and it will lead did we actually pick all of that up we did pick all of that up we're just gonna whack the awesome sink straight down off of the constructor so let's grab the awesome sink and we want to spin it 180 degrees we want to line that up with that and bring it over just a tad let's give it a little bit of room bam there we go there's an awesome sink now just to make it uh it's got its own little footings uh you know what let's quickly demolish that let's grab this zoop and yes thank you for the comments about zooping um <laughs> i really do appreciate it um you guys have been you guys have been so generous and awesome which is which is fantastic now i know i know i know it's a bit of an overkill doing all of these platforms i get it i get it i get it but hey we got the whole world to build let's let's build all right so we'll grab the awesome sink again we'll line it up we will give it a little bit of room let's give it a couple of spots there beautiful awesome sink down now what we do need is obviously conveyor belt to go from here to here and i don't think there's anything we need to do other than just power the awesome sink so oh that's right we are we are out of uh actually if i just do this we'll disconnect all of it it will okay cool let's grab another power pole now i want to sort of put the power pole just i just want to put the power here we'll put two and we will grab our cable run it to this this to this uh, this one to there, this one to there, this one to there, <laughs> this one to there. Alright, so it's all powered. We just need to go grab some biofuel and whack it in there. So let's run all the way. I think our biofuel's in those containers over there. So, as I'm playing this game, if you guys do like these videos, if you guys do enjoy my uh, my time here, feel free, give me a thumbs up, and um, you know what, if you wish to, leave me a comment on what I can do better, or simply what I've missed on the playthrough, feel free to let me, leave me a comment. I am more than happy to read all those. I, I really do get a kick out of reading all your comments, which is, which is great. Um, anyway, so we're going to set up, uh, this is going to continue smelting iron into, uh, do we need another one? We need another one. You, sir, you, sir, chew a lot of power. Okay. Can we just get another biofuel generator? We can. Where did I place, where did I, you know what? Let's just, let's just quickly rewire this. Let's whack it down i think it's there right Ooh, there okay beautiful okay cool. Cool, cool 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 let's just put two power poles down yeah if you guys have um yeah that's right <laughs> i had to think about that for a second you go to there let's just join these two up you go to there as well we're going to run the miner off of you, we're going to run the smelter off of you, we're going to run the constructor off of you, and we're going to run the sink off of you. Yes, I know you don't like the power. I know! I'm working on it. Let's go grab some more biofuel. Um, if you guys have done playthroughs in the past and um, have any tips for me, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll, um, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely read those comments. Now, um... We're going to power these two biofuel generators and get this little station set up. And you might be thinking to yourself, why are we doing an awesome sink? Oh, I should have just done that. Well, the earlier we can get an awesome sink set up, um, the more tickets we can get. Power on, please. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Yes. And are you chugging? You, sir, are chugging. Ooh, this is new. Standard points until next coupon. Yep. DNA points until next coupon. But there's DNA points now? How interesting. I've not seen this. But in any case, the awesome sync's going. Yes, the faster or the sooner that you can get an awesome sync set up, from my knowledge, means that you just get coupons. Now, there is a bit of a... Um, there's no real rush on it, I guess, because the more you progress in the tiers from your research, the more you can build more expensive things, which means essentially you could just uh, like do a catch up by by feeding it just a whole bunch of big, you know, um, 
uh, exotic materials and you'll just get a whole bunch of coupons anyway. But this is just a passive way of just setting this up and just letting it run. So while that's collecting what it's collecting, let's run over here and we will get an awesome shop and we will whack this shop down. Now I don't know exactly know where I want the shop yet. It's not sort of super important where because this will all get moved in any case. But this is the awesome shop. If you guys have not seen the awesome shop, this is the awesome shop. You can basically buy a whole bunch of things and oh, there's so many more things than I predicted. So I haven't played this game obviously in my last video or well, last two videos. I did say that I haven't played this game in a while. So they have released a whole bunch of things that I have not seen like framed window frames, windowed glass walls things and pillars and beams and oh, this ladders. Actually, I think there was ladders last time I played. Uh, customizer, we've got asphalt, was that granite? Uh, nope, nope, just concrete. Uh, tiled roofs, glass roofs, d lines, like all of this here. Yeah, we had the factory cut last time. We got some tapes, are these just music? Oh my god, we got music. Uh, statues, they were in the game, these ones are new. Equipment, oh, we gotta get the coffee cup. And parts. Obviously, we can just buy parts as needed. Um, if you're running low on parts or running low on materials, you can just buy them. But what we really use this for are things like signs. Like, all of these things here are what we use them for. So, we're going to let our tickets... Oh, the sun's coming up. Beautiful. We're going to let our tickets... Oh, that is such a beautiful photo. Oh, that is, that is gorgeous. Remind me to take a photo of that later. Um... We're just going to let the awesome sink do its thing. So that's task number one. Task number two, we need to run some, 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 uh, conveyor belts from all of these other lines over here to storage, to storage, I should say. I want to keep it as neat as possible, even though this is just a basic base setup and we will obviously be, um, moving at some stage, but let's, uh, let's get this done. And yes, I need to fill them up with, uh, with biofuel. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, we also do want to do screws as well. So we need iron plates, iron rods, um, concrete, and screws. So iron plates, iron rods, concrete, and screws, or screws and concrete. So that's why we got four over here. You are noisy, dear sir. Yeah, 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 okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, however, we can't do screws just yet because we don't have the assembler. We are still working on that. So we can still run the belts over here. We can still do some logistic work. Um, and I actually don't think I need this run. So we're going to get rid of that. So yeah, we can do some logistic work over here. Um, but yeah. But what we do need is we probably need to... Uh, sir. Sir. So, uh, God, I can't. Can you please move? Thank you. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we're going to probably have to... Hmm. Hmm. Actually. Actually, now that I think about it, we don't need these storage containers, do we? We can get rid of these storage containers and the platforms they sit on. We can run it straight from the, the constructors all the way over here. Nice and neat, mind you. And we can do the assembler up here, which... Oh, we can do that. Okay. How about we drag this back across? Oh, I missed one. I didn't zoop far enough. Anyway. Just... Thank you. Okay. So we could put the assemblers up here. I don't know how much room the assemblers need, but... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm. It doesn't have to be neat. Ah, oh, my OCD brain. My OCD brain is just taking over, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Anyway, let's grab some. No, no, no. We want to demolish this room, but I demolish. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, we don't have stackable conveyor belts either yet. No, that's fine. That's okay. We're going to just run this as neat as possible. All right. Your OCD brain is fine. You don't need to. You don't need to make it super neat. It just has to be neat-ish. It really, it really, my my OCD brain's just going to do a do a complete flip here in a second. Okay, so uh, middle, middle, middle is middle is here. There. That is that is middle. 
Yeah, that's fine. That'll work. Okay, that's one conveyor belt. This is actually going to look mega nasty to begin with. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. There's not there's not an easy way of doing this early game, so yeah, let's let's just let's just make it look as nasty as possible, shall we? All right, so we're gonna bring the uh, the rods, the iron rods over. Iron rods, I think they're called iron rods. And we're gonna go up and angle. No, we got to angle first. That's right. Ugh, over here, angle. Do, do a little bit of an angle. Up, oh, and this can go over here. I like how it snaps. I really do like how it snaps. Oh, nope. Did I put you right on the edge? I put it kind of towards the edge. Okay, now we just... Yes, I know it looks messy. We will tidy this up. Someday. <laughs> I don't know when, but we will tidy it up someday. Uh, so, we're going to grab this. We're going to bring it down here. Up, grab another one. I do like building off the ground, just a just a smidgen. Um, it just makes life a little bit easier. So we're gonna run over here and we're gonna throw these down. Now, this is where it's gonna get spaghetti-like, but that's fine, right? We we like a little bit of spaghetti. Everyone likes a bit of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good with spaghetti. Uh, okay. You lock onto that. Why can't I adjust you? There you go. And boop. Okay. Oh, the uh, I didn't delete the. Oh, golly gosh, I'm terrible. Hey yo 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 yo! You 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 gotta stop, guys! Stop! Stop! Uh, I could probably delete that actually. Yeah yeah cool. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of. Oh no! I need that. Nope. Just, just, just one, just one, just, thank you. Don't need to zoop that, not, not today, sir. Okay, we need to grab. Okay. That's better. <laughs> just, just, just better. That's fine. We can run with that. So we've got to power all these again anyway, so that's fine. But early game, early, early stages. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit cray cray. So we need to split this one and this one. So the first two lines we need to... <laughs> I love... I love how they're just chugging along. They're just choo-choo. Man, these belts are so slow. Just so slow and dreary. Okay, anyway. um, Belts. Belts. And... Mergers and splitters. Alright, so we need to split. So we need to... Okay, um, I haven't done a splitter in ages, but I think we can do this quite efficiently. Can we use... We can use the... Um, anyway, let's just put a splitter down there. And a splitter down here. They should be lined up. Beautiful. Okay, so this will just 50-50 split, right? So if we grab a conveyor... Spin the conveyor around... Uh, actually, this conveyor will have to go up two, won't it? Conveyor up two. Uh, 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 one, two. And this conveyor can stay at that height. That looks sort of what I'm looking for. So this is going to have to go to an assembler, right? So if we grab some conveyor belts, whack it in there, conveyor belt, whack it in there. You are just gonna run straight to storage because, you know, do not, do not, do not, do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Get into storage. All right. Hopefully, fifty percent of this material is gonna go straight through into the storage containers, which we can do straight away. Boop. This one can go straight into there. Boop. And they're just gonna start stacking up over a period of time. Fifty percent of these are gonna go over this way, but I've got nothing to join it to. And there's not much point in me joining these until I get the assembler. And I don't have the assembler yet. I, I, I simply do not have the assembler. Which we're going to need. We need. We need the assembler. Okay. With that said, let's go grab some biofuel. Run all these machines up and start manufacturing materials. Um, while we're at it, you... Oh, I really hope you are the... I think you are the, you are the plates. You're the rods. Oop. 
you're the concrete, uh, and you're going to be the screws. Okay, that's just going to be our basic base. There's going to be so much more to this, it's not going to be funny. Well, it will be funny. Now, I'm leaving this one free and vacant because it's so close to the um the hab i can just grab what i need to grab and the one that's up there which is copper we're not even going to worry about just yet i mean technically we need to worry about it but i don't want to worry about it but we got to worry about it ah oh, i don't want to worry about it uh anyway you go in there because i just want to just store that's fine that's okay um what was i doing Oh yes, uh, we need biofuel. Oh, we were just at the biofuel. Okay, we're gonna grab um, three. Hell, we're gonna grab four just in case. And on our way through, we're gonna see how our awesome sink is going because it's just churning out material. We're already at one coupon, which is better than zero coupons. Anyway, we're going to go put some biofuel in the biomass burner generators. You're going to keep going. Beautiful. And the next one, we're going to throw you in there. You're going to keep going. Beautiful. And lastly, we're going to throw some in the limestone concrete one. Beautiful. And you can keep going. Awesome. Now, it will take a while for all this to sort of pile up and store, but... Hey, it's working. That's all that matters. It's working. I wonder if the math works out. See how it comes out in pairs. Is it more efficient? Someone let me know. Is it more efficient to have, say, one of these miners, two smelters, into one constructor? I don't think it's worth it. Would it be one miner, two smelters, two constructors, into one fl Yeah until we get overclocking i think that might be the way to go we might have to look at that in the next video maybe we put two two smelters and two constructors per row here and run them off the biofuel generators hmm hmm he says because it is a theory and a thought and in any case that's gonna take ages anyway like i did say we are going to work on the next objective for the end of the video which is some oh over here some reinforced plates some normal plates and some rods so there's the rods i got nothing else in there that i need thus far because i've got wait 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 concrete there it is concrete uh let's go and just jam those in real quick so concrete rods oh we need a lot more rods uh rods um Let's go grab the rods and plates and, and yeah, yeah. Oh, we need the screws for the reinforced plates as well. Okay. See, the benefit of... Uh, the kind of benefit of not playing this game in such a while... You are going up there, right? Oh, you are too. Okay, cool. Is you kind of... Oh, yeah, we can just see it over there. We can... Um, you sort of you sort of learn on the go right so when you when you haven't played this game in oh i need more of those when you haven't played this game in so long everything you discover is like brand new and um i kind of feel sorry for everyone that's watching that has played this game for so long and you realize that hey there are some really smart people out there and um yeah that's just the way it is but in any case we're going to make some screws so we can make some reinforced rods uh, sorry, reinforced plates, and um, I think we need 50 of them, so we'll just keep this up, and um, I'll see you guys in a second. Hmm. Oh, I realized I needed, um, I needed some more plates, but I was looking, <laughs> I was looking at, it's, it's, it's like a giant moth bird, right? It's like a winged moth bird. What, what do you guys call that thing? I just call it like a giant moth, but... It's, it's not really a moth, but it, it's kind of a moth, but it's not, not a moth. Anyway, I need, just need to stop talking because I like to cook. Really? I needed more. There. Okay. Uh, we're too short, really. What are we? Uh, fine. I'll go get some more plates. All right. So we're going to whack this into here. We've got enough for 50 plates. This will take a little time. So again, I'll see you in a bit. And we're done. 
All right, so we're gonna whack the plates in there. Oh, <laughs> we're just gonna hit the button. Send it to space. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. Uh -huh. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor mm -hmm. poles now have a stackable variant. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, little fella. Big, big fella? You're actually kind of a big spaceship. Wait, did she just say... We've got... Oh, It requires reinfo... Hang on a minute. Should we just go around and, like, just... What do we... We need more... We need... We need... We need... Can we just... Guys, I got an idea. Um, I just had a thought. If we've upgraded to conveyor twos, can we just... Can we just... Can we just... Number... No, no, that's not what I want. That one. There we go. How many of these can we reckon we can upgrade? I don't have a lot of reinforced belts, but... I'm pretty sure you just go... Boop. Oh. Uh... Nowhere near enough. Oh, I need a lot of reinforce. Uh, okay. Uh, you get an upgrade. Y yay! I look at it. It just <laughs> it just zooms off of here. It's like yay! Oh, um. Turns out we need a lot more reinforced belts. Uh, might be a job for the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for coming and watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves here today. Remember, if you do um, like the content I'm putting out, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Or, you know, just simply come back and watch the next video. I really do enjoy it. And look, I really do enjoy reading all of your comments. Um, it's good to get a perspective and a feedback. You guys are bloody awesome. So thank you so much. Have yourselves a good time. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.